Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing how to make a basic weapon, so we're just going to do a little animation on a uh, cylinder, because I'm not actually going to have a sword or anything right now, we're just going to use a cylinder as the weapon. And so we're just going to do a quick like, animation of hitting, and then we are going to eventually make something to attack it, but for now we're just going to do the animation part. So we have our character here, and we're just going to go onto the first person. Right click, 3D object, cylinder. Now we have to make this to the right size. So I'm going to say like a 0.2 and then 0.2 is probably right. Maybe like a 0.5 for the Y or 0.7 maybe? Yeah, that looks good. So we're just going to put this right there. So now this is going to follow the character. So we have to slide that over. That looks about right to me. So now all we need to do is go to the cylinder. Actually, let's do this first. We're going to go minimize all this to the assets folder. We're going to right click, create a new folder. Call this scripts. Inside scripts, we're going to create a JavaScript file. I'm going to call this animate weapon. Or we'll call this like, yeah, animate weapon. And then you're going to double click and it's going to open up model develop. Let that load in. So now we have a blank script here, really. It has some basic stuff in it. But once it loads, come on. Error. Okay. That's not it. Okay, let's open this one more time. Delete everything in here. We don't need any of this. Actually, let's make this simple. We do need the update script, but you can just rewrite it if you want. So in here, we're going to write if, I don't like that, so if input dot get button down, and then in parentheses, we're going to call this, actually, okay, let's go, I'm going to call this attack. We might actually change this name later, but, so then we're going to create, you know, more brackets, get component dot animation in, in uh, these triangle brackets parentheses period play and then what we're going to call the animation so we're going to call the animation um, weapon let's call this weapon attack and then just a semicolon at the end so what this is going to do is when you click the attack button, which I'll explain this later, it's just going to play the animation. So save that. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to file. Or no, sorry. Where is it? Yeah, file. Oh, no, sorry. Edit, project settings, input. In here, we're going to go to axes. And I should... See, a fire one right here is actually what we can use. So fire one, if you hit the mouse button, it, it attacks. So we're actually going to go back to our script. And instead of attack, we're going to call this fire one. That way, it's just a left click. So now what we need to do is we have to drag this script onto the cylinder. It still doesn't know what it's doing, though, because there's no animation. So what we want to do is go to the cylinder and click this little animation button here and hit create. Now, we're going to call this what we called the other one, which is Weapon Attack. <laughs> and now it's going to open up this little window here. And what we're going to do in this window is we're actually going to just go up to this thing and we're going to animate it. So, at zero, we want it to be up here. And let's go by 10. So, at 10 seconds, we want it to say rotate on the Z axis, maybe? 10? Or no, we do not want it to rotate on the Z axis. Sorry, we need to rotate on the x-axis, maybe 30, or 10. So rotate, so play it, it goes from 0, 10. And so now we go to 20, and we go to 20. Now at 30, we're going to want to go to 30, but then at 40, we're going to want to go back to... Actually, sorry, you can do this however you want. I want to do this a little bit faster, 
So what we're going to do is actually go by fives. So it can be 30 seconds instead of 60. So five is now going to be at 10. 10 is going to be at 20. 15 is going to be at 30. 20 is now though going to be at 20. So we're going to go back up. So 20, 10, and then at 30, we're going to be back at zero. So if we now play this, it's just, it's a hitting animation. So it's not amazing, but we're going to work with that for now. So we're going to hit stop. And now, as you can see, there is an animator on this thing right here. And we actually have to drag the animation on it too. But right now we have to go to here. And we have to hit this little button at the top. This little like three line button. And change to debug mode. And then we have to go to here. And check legacy. So now that we've checked legacy, we're going to go back to normal mode. And we're going to drag this animation onto our cylinder. So we're just going to go and do that. Actually, we don't need to drag it on, do we? So we should be able to play this. And now when we hit, it does not. Why doesn't it do it? It does not add it. It did not add it. So you actually have to hit add component, animation. And then we're going to drag in weapon attack. Let me just make sure I named it weapon attack in here. Weapon attack. Okay. There's no FK. There we go. Now we left click and it hits. Just make sure you added that using the um, add component, not dragging it on because you can't actually drag it on for some reason. I don't know why, but there you go. As you can see, we hit and it hits. So now next episode, we'll probably make an, something to hit. Or maybe we'll wait on that for a little while. But yeah, that's how you make a hitting animation. So thanks for watching.